Uh, before I speak, I'd like to invite uh, the councillors that are here to come forward and stand with me. As Lord Mayor, I am representing the position of council, not my own views. These were, are the views that unanimously or with support of the council were passed. I'd like to share them with you and then I would like to share with you my own thoughts. Your council is with you. We represent a new era in Wollongong. We are not there for our own ends. We have been appointed to represent your views and these views are expressed within the context of council. I'd like to share with you exactly where your council stands on this issue at the present time. The council is concerned about the environment, environmental impacts of coal seam gas mining. The council is urging the state government to rule out coal seam gas mining activities in this city. That is from Helensburg down to Yalla before LGA. The council will make a submission to the New South Wales inquiry into policy and gas mining and the council is planning to appear at the hearing into policy and gas mining at Barrel on the 8th of December, representing your view. The council expresses its concern that short-term and long-term environmental impacts of coal seam gas mining are not well understood at either a statewide or regional level. The council acknowledges there is widespread community concern and opposition to coal seam gas mining in the Illawarra. The, co the council urges the state government to rule out coal seam gas mining activities in water catchment areas, and more specifically, in the city of Wollongong. As I've been told, these issues will be included in a submission by the council to the New South Wales Legislative Council's Standing Committee inquiry into coal seam gas mining, and that the final submission is going to be prepared by the councillors and that is yet to be put in place but indicating the things that I've already outlined. The council officers will provide information to update the councillors on these submissions that are to go to that standing committee and that those terms of reference will be addressed from the perspective of your needs and your concerns. Yeah. At this stage, the council will represent these issues as I've already said, on the 8th of December, as the, the uh, standing committee meets in Barrel. We will take forward your views, your concerns on this issue. And now I would like to take off my hat in terms of just uh, representing the council. And as your Lord Mayor, and as one who has been popular elected, I would like to make it very clear, and I think the councillors are with me, that anything that intrudes on the quality of our water supply and anything that detracts from the amenity of our city is not on. It is, it is not just about cold seam gas mining. The era has come, everyone, where we need to realise that land and our environment isn't an infinite resource, it's a finite resource and we cannot exploit it in the ways that we are doing at the present time. We are talking about saving the environment. You know, we can sully the water, we can pump it out of the sea, we can transform it with all the engineering and technology that we can apply. But where does the energy come from? It detracts from the environment, when we have a natural source just up here with clean, fresh water filtered through the best of sandstone in the most wonderful, pristine environment that represents the reason why we want to live here. Why do we live here? Look at the beauty around us. Look at the amenity that we enjoy. 
And why is it that so many people want to come and drive down this bridge? It's not the bridge alone, but the beautiful location, the quality of the landscape, the beauty and the wonder of this part of the world. We need to keep it, not only for ourselves, but also those who come after us. Everyone, your council is with you. Please let us know what we can do. We will endeavour to represent your interests. Thank you.